Good morning, Good Life Kids. Are you guys ready to worship? Let's get up and sing a song. such a good song. Okay, let's play a game. Today we're going to have Marie and we're going to have Grant and he's going to, they're going to help us today. We're going to do a scavenger hunt. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to, I have some things I'm going to read off and you have to go find them in your house. You'll have 20 seconds to find them. Okay, let's see how many of them you can find. Okay, let's do this. Okay, right, the first thing is something round. What'd you find? Oh, she found them. Ew, it's a piece of dog food. <laughs> this is wrong okay, that. five more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Oh, a soccer ball. Yep, that's round. Okay, now find something made of plastic. What'd you find? Yep, Tupperware. That's made of plastic. 
Right? Always is taking the longest. Five, four, three, two, one. Eh, uh oh, he missed that one. Okay, the, the next thing to find is something red. Find something red. <laughs> well, that was an easy one for Marie. Oh, good job. Okay, I'll give you a few more minutes to find something red at your house. Okay, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, let's um, find something old. Hmm. What could you find in your house that would be something old? Something old. Maybe an old sock? Or maybe an old, oh. Yeah, an old, I yeah, old. that's old, yeah, that's old. What else could you find that was old? Maybe um, an old book? This is a hard one, kind of. Okay, about 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. That's old. Okay, Grant missed on that one too. Okay, let's sign something smaller than a paper clip. Now, paper clips are kind of small, so find something smaller than a paper clip. Smaller. Oh, what is it? You can't even see that. You can see that? Yeah, it's a little bitty bead. Yep, that's smaller than a paper clip. Maybe a piece of rice? That's smaller. Or some lint. <laughs> um, what's smaller than a paper clip? Um, an eraser, pencil top eraser, smaller than a paper clip. Let's see. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you got the sprinkles. sprinkles. Yep, that's smaller than a paper clip. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, okay, now, okay, for our last one, it's gonna be a little kind of difficult. Okay, find something that you can only use indoors. What's something you can only use indoors? Hmm. Something you can only use indoors. You have something there? Oh, a stapler? Yeah, you wouldn't really use that outdoors. That's a good one. Okay, indoors. Let's see, what else can you find? Something you can only use indoors. So, I don't know what that would be. Maybe a plate? Fork? Spoon? Like the metal ones. Metal ones you use indoors. Um, a ukulele? Yeah, you use a ukulele indoors. Yep, that's a good thing to use indoors. Okay, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up! Oh, Grant has a late submission here. Okay, what do you have? Oh. Probably use these outdoors. No, okay, yep, that's definitely an indoor thing. Keyboard from his computer. Okay, good job, guys. I'm plugging it. Good job. Good job, guys. How many did you get? Did you get something from every category? I'm sure you probably did. You guys are really good at these kind of games. Okay, so now let's find um, out what's going on with our Mooseberry friends. Hey, sports fans. Ollie on the street here with terrible news. All of our school competitions are postponed thanks to some lousy thief. Everything at school has stopped until we find out who stole the Mooseberry Aardvark and Jedediah's Mooseberry Historic Mooseberry Berry Pole. I think it was Stephanie, because she's always doing stuff like this, but we don't have any clues. Let's be clear. If I did this, I'd be bragging about it. There's really only one thing we can do. Pray. And I've got just the thing for prayer. <gasps> These are the chronicles of the Mooseberry Masterclass. 
and the exceptional and very, very, very gifted students who attend, and also Alex. This summer at church camp, I came up with an app that prayed for you. Check it out. PrayerBot. Pray. Dear Lord, help Jasper do science and have smart. Thank you for his awesome Hawaiian shirt. He are genius. Amen. Amen. I remember PrayerBot. I also remember it being a terrible idea. But it can be a good idea. Introducing PrayerBot 2.0. We just need to upload the situation. Like, uh, we want to know for sure if Stephanie is the thief. Type in about how we want revenge. And maybe pray that she'll bump her knee or something so you can catch her easier if she tries to run. And she should feel so much shame that she never gets over it. Great stuff, everyone. All right, one prayer coming up. Dear Lord, make thief to hurt so to catch. Make always shame and punish thief. Thief our Stephanie. Amen. Stop! Here we go again. I understand I'm surrounded by geniuses. But sometimes they make things so hard. I mean, an app? Really? Ouch. First, let me remind everyone, prayer has to be done by humans, not robots. I feel like I shouldn't have to say that. Since prayers are human and personal, we can pray about anything we want. But since we're Christians, we're trying to live the way God wants us to. So we want to pray for His will to be done. Jesus prayed that way in the Bible, so God can help us do it too. I guess the prayers we uploaded to PrayerBot 2.0 weren't really in God's will. I suppose I could try to do better at praying for God's will, or whatever. Hey everyone, I was deleting PrayerBot 2.0. Please don't delete PrayerBot 2.0. Want to learn to love. Goodbye, Father. I came across the video feed from the classroom. Stephanie was in the classroom at the time both crimes were committed. It couldn't have been her. Told you I was innocent. Well, of these crimes anyway. You know me, I've always got something going. What do you think about Prayer Bot? Do you think it was a good idea or do you think it was a bad idea? I think it was a bad idea. It sounded like they were praying for what they wanted or for what they thought was true, right? And then what happened? Turned out they were completely wrong. When we pray, God wants us to pray knowing that He is in control and He already knows what's happening. And today in our Bible story, we're going to learn about when Jesus prayed. So let's see how He did it. Jesus and his disciples often went to the Mount of Olives just outside the city of Jerusalem. At the bottom of the Mount of Olives was the Garden of Gethsemane. Just before Jesus was arrested, he went to the garden with his disciples. Jesus told the men, sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John and walked a little further. He said to them, I am so sad. Stay here and watch. Jesus walked a short distance away from them knelt down and began to pray. He knew that he would die soon. Father, he prayed, if you are willing, take this hard thing away from me. Jesus continued, but may your will be done and not mine. An angel from heaven appeared and cared for Jesus. Jesus' prayer was strong and powerful. As he prayed, his sweat fell like drops of blood to the ground. When Jesus finished his prayer, he went back to find Peter, James, and John sleeping. Jesus said, why are you sleeping? Couldn't you stay awake one hour? Get up and pray that you will not give in to temptation. Jesus walked farther ahead and prayed the same thing. 
Then he went back to the disciples and found them sleeping again. Did you know that sometimes Jesus got afraid and sad just like we do? Even though he knew he was going to go through some hard times, he still asked for God's will to be done. God wants us to come to him in prayer when we're happy and when we're sad. He wants us to be involved in every part of our lives. When Jesus went to him in prayer, God took care of him. Isn't that awesome? He sent angels down to comfort Jesus. We can be sure that when we pray to God, he hears us, just like he heard Jesus in the garden. Now let's pray today like God teaches us in 1 John 5.14, which says, If we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. Our Dear God, help us to pray for your will to be done and not ours. Thank you for always hearing us and for being there for us when we are happy and when we are sad. Be with us as we start a new week. Amen. Okay, now before we go to one more worship song, I want to um, remind you that there are down you can download our coloring pages and activity sheets and everything from the website. Okay, see you later. The dark tried to hide you and steal you away Death tried to keep you inside of the grave The enemy fought you, he tried but he lost cannot be stopped When we cried for freedom You tore down the walls The weight of our burdens You carried it all I feel failures hang dead on the cross you cannot be stopped move the mountains break the chains Jesus is child over the grave sing hallelujah the battle is won nothing can stand